Chief Keef started a very interesting debate on Twitter this weekend when he tweeted out his rap Mount Rushmore featuring, of course, himself, Kanye, Lil Wayne, Drake. Of course, people went crazy oh, baby. <laughs> about this, but... Uh, oh, baby. How outlandish is this, or is it even outlandish? You Wait, want this one first? You know that Wait, we think that... Wh which idiots were actually like debating this shit? <laughs> because <I'm, laughs> this is what I expected I, I just don't know. No, it was funny. It was funny, but I mean, from Chief Keith's perspective, this made a lot of sense. Mm. But I don't know who the hell would be debating that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, it, what, what is it? Wayne, Kanye... Drake. Drake, Drake and himself? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Of course. Nothing let's to rock. debate. <laughs> again, post... You see, again, I keep saying, and I think even when we were talking about Lil Xan and... Yeah, we know Lil Xan is 21, not like 18, but for the younger kids, like most of their like music, like Wayne is like such like an old rapper at this point. They only know from Wayne on up, you know what I mean? So like shit, I could see someone who's younger than Chief Keith throwing Young Thug on that shit. I could see someone who is 16 right now throwing Uzi on it. But you're 26, yes? Yeah. Would you find Chief Keith's, um, would you find him to be accurate with how he, um, you know, Put himself on that on that uh, on that face with well, the others. Well, first of all, my my Mount Rushmore. I don't think it could it would have anyone but maybe Wayne on there okay. um, from that list. And by the way, Kai is, is good too. But what about Chief Keef specifically? Chief Keef again, does he belong on that Mount Rushmore? No, because again, I'm looking from mm. I'm looking from the '90s. But if, if I'm talking about impact since say 2006, that's what I'm saying. We got we got a time market. If you look from Impact since 2006, absolutely I'm putting Chief Keef on there. Okay. Because okay. He, he changed music and changed his, He got a bunch of sons running out here. Sons, grandsons, exactly. nephews, it, nieces. It, it, exactly. And, and then, of course, beyond him, Wayne got a bunch of sons. Yeah. You get me? And then Kanye changed music. So all those people changed music. Yeah. So I would agree with that list if we're looking from 06 on. But if we're looking in the totality of, of rap... No, I'm, I'm just talking about him putting his face on it because he put his face on it. I feel like you always have to put he, he your should. face, right? Yeah, if yeah. you're a rapper, like, If, if it wasn't choice. him, I wouldn't be mad at Gucci being there in, instead of him because I think that's kind of still the same tree. Mm -hmm. Gucci, um, I'm not going to just throw big but, but But you're saying from 2006 yeah. on? 2006 on. Okay. okay. Um, but that's not a bad list, only in terms of impact. Okay, right, right, right. I, I think the, the biggest thing about it is people are taking it as like when everybody looks at a list, they look at it as, oh, who's the best rapper? I looked at it like when I first saw it, I thought it was funny, but I thought about influence. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about pure influence, Kanye has influenced a whole generation of people. So has Drake. So has Chief Keef. It's like Chief Keef has been in the game officially for like five years now. So a kid that was 20, 20 is 15, mm -hmm. listening to him, they was he was there everything. Right. So... I mean, I don't take it, like, this is his list. Like, it's not for us to say, oh, he's wrong. It's his shit. And it's like, I don't think he takes it that serious either. Like, it's Chief Keef we talking about. I think he takes it very serious. Um, and, and, and you have to put your foot down with regards to your, your, your legacy that you hope to be. I'll even say that 10 years from now, Chief Keef belongs on that Mount Rushmore. Um, <clears throat> I counted him out years ago. I was sitting on my homie Vlad's couch, Vlad TV, and I was, I was a little saucy, and I said, ah, he won't be around. Uh, and I don't usually do that with regards to the younger artists. Um, and I was off, and I, and I man have to admit that I was off, be, because what has happened since then, and I've always said the greatest power is influence, good or bad. And as you just said, th these are his sons out here, Chief Keef. You just had a bunch of guys standing in a room with no shirts, just, just vibing, and, 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 and you know, yes, drill music has, has somewhat faded out, but uh, his influence has been crazy. It's still lingering on. I mean, uh, you know, one of my favorite songs, uh, Sosa. You know, um, there was a white girl strumming an acoustic guitar doing an acoustic version of Sosa. You saw that? Yeah. Uh, years ago. And I said, shit. I mean, so I, I had to fall back and say, wow, he's really, really influencing generations to come. So yes, he, he belongs in that Mount Rushmore. I, I would call him one of Wayne's sons as well. I would call him one of Wayne's sons. Dreads, you know what I mean? Like, that's one of the main things. Like, when you look at a lot of these dudes look exactly like Wayne, you know? And, and Wayne, he's, he's held it together for a long time. It's curious to, I'm curious to see what he's gonna do going forward, but, you know, everybody that's on that list has been a very impactful, influential person. Like, Drake, it, it, you could go back and keep making Mount, Mount Rushmore. There's only four people that could go in it, right? But if we're talking in terms of influence, like Drake was influenced by a lot of people before him. People, I seen somebody call Drake uh, 
Ja Rule. <laughs> like, but I mean, as far as like melody and singing, okay. like now, once Drake took the rapping and singing shit dead serious, now every artist raps and sings. So it's like, he might be one of the most influential people and then it's gonna be somebody after them, like you said, Thug. Like, it's gonna be kids that Thug means more to a lot of kids than <clears throat> Wayne or any of them, or Chief Keef, you know? Yeah, again, if, if we're going with influence, which that's what I think yeah, we all agree right. that was that list was compiled of, right? Mm -hmm. Or that's why those artists were there. Because if it was just commercial success, that might it might look yeah, like right, right. influence. Shit, we could throw Kid Cudi on one of those spots, right? right. right. There's multiple people you could kind of like pick and like replace one another with. Oh, yeah. So I'm not mad at it, and that's why I don't think there's no debate. Like yeah, when, when like, an artist yeah. is given his perspective, you gotta look at their age. Look at the music they're making, and you gotta look at the point of view they're looking from, right? right? And and another thing too is like everything doesn't everything is not always focused and centered on the best person. Because people's like, oh, where's Kendrick Lamar? Or where like people always try to, oh, where's J. Cole? People always try to throw that in, in there. Chief it's like, Keith's world, he is, don't exist. Is, 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 <laughs> Kendrick Lamar does not even exactly. like Yeah, you get me? And the thing is, is that I like the fact that both of them can coexist. Like I can like J. Cole just as much. I listen to Chief Keith's music. Like, I, I can like both of them the same, you know? And they don't have to get in each other's way. That's that's what I like about the balance of today sometimes. Yeah. I do believe that we should do like a generational, like um, a Mount Rushmore. Because it's, it's hard that, it's, though, because it's only four spots. Mm -hmm. well, well, if we think about it for a generation, like, I mean, shit, you know how we already say, yo, who ran what year to what year, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Would like, you do five year, five year? Yeah, yeah like, five five year, like, like five year increments or decade, you know what I mean? Okay. Kanye still, it's like Kanye's still a top, like, no matter what, he's still a top guy. Like, his first album mm -hmm. dropped in 04, and he was doing beats on Foxy album in like 99, 2000. So it's like, that just goes to show you how enough. he supersedes it all sometimes. Yeah, because he might be on a bunch of Mount Rushmore's. Yeah, he, I mean, he's probably one of the most influential artists ever. Period, yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah.